Okay. On a bounce. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Go. You're saying traditional. So you want me to wear a skirt all the way to my ankles. Got to take it to the extreme, And a of long <laughs> sleeve shirt in my pictures. Hey. Because you guys are taking it Adriana. to the extreme. No. A bikini is an extreme to you. You're going to think shorts you are, are sexualizing ourselves. A crop top sexualizing ourselves. No. What do you want? Did we say that? No, but you guys are saying bikini pictures aren't so normal. Like, what are you talking about? What are you actually talking about? I don't think he's saying they're not normal. No, but he's saying that that's sexualizing ourselves. Yes. Posting a picture in a bikini, yes or no? What is your definition of sexualizing yourself? Give me a clear definition. Posting a picture in our bikini. What is is it? You know what? Since you know exactly what men want and feel, all the men in the world. I have a question. You want to get married, right? Yeah. If the man you wanted to get married to told you today, delete your Instagram. I'll take care of you. Would you would you get rid of it or no? Fuck that motherfucker. Okay. I feel like no one should tell me what I can and cannot do. Like specifically on social media. I'm not posting my vagina. I'm not posting my titties out. It's literally a bikini picture. It's normal. So you would say like, no. If you're that insecure, that I don't want you near me. Hold on, hold on. That means that's not the, the man for me. There's on. gonna be a man for me and I could do what I want. And if that guy wants me to delete my social media. Because he's insecure, then that's his fault. Who See, is this all your, what is he, is this all of your boyfriend? requirements. Hold on, all your requirements: six feet, money in the bank. It's not a no requirement. Right? I've dated a no guy short. Like it does not matter. I don't give a. You fuck. guys were asking us, and you wanted us to tell you what were our requirements. There was Listen, no requirements for real. If you ask each of us, I got triggered just because vague. he said posting bikini pictures is sexualizing ourselves, and we're not gonna have a marriage because we're fucking posting bikini pictures when that's so normal. No, he's and saying I, your chances of getting married are gonna be slimmer. It's and then not guess slimmer. what? And then guess In what? Girls head. marry BBL girls. Like girl, I mean guys yeah, marry yeah, BBL yeah. girls. In your that, head, that guys marry. True. But at the same time, he's just saying to you, it's your choice, it's your body. You can do whatever you want to do. But just understand that there's a, a reaction to that choice that you make. Okay. That's what you're saying. Perfect. I've said that it. clearly a million times. Yeah. It, it's it, just you were saying that we were sexualizing ourselves. So I don't when like you that. Post pictures, it's not sexualizing okay, ourselves. Okay. Yeah, when you post pictures of yourself on the internet that are scantily clad for the purpose of getting and or attention but from what men, is the it is sexualizing yourself. Whether what you is want the definition? Or not. Post ad and it's not traditional. It's okay. Listen, it's not traditional. And I know you don't want us to ask your opinion, it's not but traditional. in your opinion, what you want it's from not a girl. Traditional. It's not traditional. Posting, posting pictures of yourself on the internet, right? For the purpose of getting attention, likes, and or validation. What about you and your not traditional. What about men and women are different. Dude, no, it doesn't matter. How is men with their abs It's really different. different. No, I want to hear this. How are men and their abs different? Tell are me. men and women the same? Listen, how are men and their abs different from posting their pictures with no, their abs out? I'm telling Let you. Let me know. No, you're not answering I'm the gonna, question because there's no answer Because we're, we're going to do this in a way where you'll be able to understand. Because Okay, if, I'm going to understand your answer. Go. Yeah, so are men and women the same? Answer the question. Of course. No, are men and women the same? I asked it first. No, no, this is... That's not how this works. Okay. You're on my platform. Okay. What are you well, saying? Do, you question do it, wait, men and women please. the same? I'm simply asking you Obviously, a question so you can come to a deductive conclusion they're here. They're different. They're different, correct? So do we play by the same rules in life? Bro, whatever. Honestly, whatever. Let me ask you a you question. Guys, I, I want to ask like, you a question about this abs and everything because, you know, when it comes to he's a fitness. Were you a fitness professional? Do you do this for? Where are you going? Probably to the bathroom. Oh. Uh, do you, are you a fitness professional? Yes. So, and when you're referring to guys that post these six pack pictures, you think like there's a difference between someone who's doing it because they're a professional in the fitness industry or, and also in the bikini, like if a girl's putting like, uh, pictures out that's like, I'm fit, but they're in the business of fitness, would that be, and I want to hear your response too, would that be sexualizing because it's industry specific to their business and they're using that platform for business or you mean just people who are very obviously doing these pictures that are like sexual, but like simply it could put, be wearing the same simply thing. Simply put, a man that shows pictures of himself on the internet is not the same as a woman that puts pictures of herself on the internet. When a woman sexualizes herself on the internet, certain doors open that would never open for a man said the same types of pictures were put out for him. Men and women don't play by the same set of rules in the world. We're very different. We, you can call that sexist or whatever it is. It's the reality. It's not fair that I can't get into a club for free. It's not fair that men don't da- donate money to me just based on the way that I look. It's not fair that I can't make $10,000 a month on OnlyFans selling feet pictures. But that's the reality. Women have certain privileges and accesses that men don't. It is what it is. I'm not here to complain about it. But what I am here to say is that women have serious contention and issues when sexism doesn't favor them. But they're okay with sexism when it does favor them. Getting into clubs for free, getting all the benefits of being an attractive young woman. 
one of the things that women have a serious issue with is they think that we play by the same set of rules when it comes to dating and sex, and we don't at all. Okay. A man that can have sex with a lot of women is not the same as a woman that has sex with a lot of men. A man that has sex with a lot of women brings value. A woman that has sex with a lot of men loses her value. It's just the way it is. I Wait, think that's wrong. A second. Are you serious? Yes. No, you're actually kidding. I think that's wrong. So you can have more sex with however many fucking women you want. Yes. But, but what's the difference? Can't. No. But why, but why you do you find? Actually, kidding me right but now. But why do you I'm find it? Serious. Why are you? No, no, no. Why are you so confident on this answer? I'm very serious. But why are you so serious about this answer? Okay. If I was to break it down, in break a it down simple... to me, so I can understand. No. Well. Well. Are you listening? Or are you gonna just like listen to respond? Are you actually listening. listening to understand versus listening to respond? Because you guys are just listening to respond at this point. That's I your think, opinion. Can I say something? It's not an no, opinion. No, I want to hear him. You guys go. don't let me finish my okay, statement, go, go. which clearly shows that you guys are waiting to get triggered and respond. Go. It's he, a triggering concept. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. go right go. there. Give me the super chat. Fit. Speak your truth. We're going to read the super chats real quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So name changer seven, $50. I'm giving you another 50 for having to listen to Asian girl giving her opinion. I don't know if <laughs> there was an answer in there, but my hair is falling out and I'm sorry for fresh fit for having to do this show. God damn it is what it is, guys. Uh, let's see here. 50 and up. 50 and up. Okay. Barbie B got uh, out the building. You feel me? Bless her heart. She gave it all, her all. You feel me? Glad we can move on to a more productive show. You feel, you feel me? me? Yep. Cool. Um, the haven't guy. dropped the super chat in a bit, but for the girl in the white top, I can't just sit by and say nothing. I see innocence in her. You just gave your value to the wrong guy. Don't let the jade, don't let that jade you and let a player ruin it for you. Preserve value. Thank okay. You. Well, okay. there's more to the story, my friend. Shout, uh, shout out to the, <laughs> I'm sorry? Nothing. Continue speaking. Did you say shut the fuck up? No. It was a joke. Okay. Please don't disrespect me on my platform. 100%. I haven't sworn at you or told you to do anything that's, you know, I have so much respect for disrespectful. you and all your opinions. Is that sarcasm? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> no. 100%. I'm serious. It was a joke, for real. You guys can't take a joke on a podcast. It's not about that. It's that. Uh, <laughs> don't do it again. Yeah, don't do that again. All right, I'm so sorry. That's extremely disrespectful to us and the platform. Mm -hmm. That's that's your last warning. Okay. Okay. Uh, CK, $50. There's a reason that Islamic and Hindu cultures have the best marriage rates. It's because the traditionalism is preserved on both the gender sides. This result in long-term marriages, even Hindus and Muslims in America have the least divorce. Okay, Tima Peterson, this combative behavior will not land you a ring on your finger, uh, especially a high-value man with options. Oh, that's Chris, coming from Chris, a woman. There's one more. Uh, Tima uh, Peterson. Zach Drago. Uh, oh, no, you are incorrect, black shirt. You don't use actual data to support your opinions. Myron uses facts based on research predominantly from biology and evolution. Social constructs will never pull humans Uh pull humans more than their biology cut her mic ah, sure. no, we gotta give her we gotta give her a, a voice man let her hear what she has to say let's hear uh jabrizi 50 dollars proof power corrupts <laughs> <laughs> thank you man marco reaper you should call you should uh you should frank castle all four of these useless human beings nah man i ain't gonna nah, do that nah, nah, nah. 